Hi, I'm here at the Sports Museum, and behind me is the Candlepin Bowling Display. You ought to see it sometime if you haven't. Now, I'm also here to thank all of you who have watched and all of you who have participated in Candlepin Bowling. It's been a long, beautiful ride, 37 and a half years, and you're well aware of the fact, I guess, that this is going to be the very last show which you're about to see. And thanks. We really appreciated your watching us all these years. Today our champion, John Dernicke of Webster, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of Dave Richards of Plaston, New Hampshire on Hamilton Bowling. Hi everyone, welcome once again to Candlepin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, but I'm always speaking for the whole crew when I say we're sure glad you joined us here at the fairway in Natick, Massachusetts. It'll be three strings of Candlepin Bowling. Total pinfall will determine our winner. Each of our bowlers takes home a permanent souvenir. These are provided by Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke. They'll be properly inscribed with the name, the date, and the result. Nice souvenir. And each will take home some guaranteed prize money. 700 goes to the winner, 350 to the runner-up, $50 to the winner of each string. Should they tie, they would each get $50. Many other opportunities during the strings to pick up bonus money. And our marksman of the day, the bowler with the most marks, will receive a $50 gift certificate from Rotman's Furniture of Worcester. Okay, let's talk to today's bowler, shall we? Well, David, we had you around for the championship show, sitting off to one side, that hoping maybe somebody wouldn't show up. Huh? But no, you were the alternate. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of... Um... I don't know, sitting back there, you wanted to get up there and throw a ball, but yeah, I'll have a chance. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We have 11 straight weeks in which we have a 400, mm, yeah. and you did that twice when you were on here before, right? Yeah. And John, of course, did it last week. Squeaked by. Squeaked four, by. Yeah, Squeaked 403. By yeah. <laughs> but a win is a win is a win, right? It sure is. I've had few, few defeats, you know, where I got beat by one pin, so it's, I know how it feels, so. Yeah, I know. I, we, we talked about that last week when we were talking about the numbers of times when you just didn't yeah. make it. All right, let's not hold up the parade. You two are great bowlers, and we want to get at it, which we'll do right after this. <laughs> Leading off today's challenger, Dave Richards, Plasto, New Hampshire. High single 196, high triple 470, league average 128. And he is left as a reward to face a diamond to try to convert it. This is two, four, five, and eight. Hey, I think he's gonna, oh, oh. nope. Son of a gun, the diamond wins again, but I thought sure he was going to, to make it. Left the eight pin. A 10. Right on the head pin, everything down except the six pin. He has it for a spare. Now John Zernicke, who is our defending champion, high single 211, high triple 473, league average 120. That ball just skimmed down. Couldn't even hear it practically. It's a four and eight. He has a spare to begin. Yeah. 
seven is the fill, and he's looking at a tri tricky triangle. This one is made up of the two, four, five. No wood. Great start. Now Dave Richards comes up to work on a spare in the second. When Dave was on last year, he rolled a 412 and a 407 and a 392 before he lost to Jack Ray. Half Worcester, left side, punching out just the two and eight for a deuce. Four and five. Oh, nice try. He didn't get the second one, but he moved a piece of wood all over the place. Looking at one, two, ten. No wood. Oh, nice try, but he didn't get it. Ten. Our defending champion, John Zernike, comes up with two marks. Three in a row, worth $50 in bonus money, and then 50 for each consecutive following that. Boy, that two pin is rocking back and forth, but it will not fall into the head pin. So he's got one, two, and nine. Nice hit, but the nine is still there. It's a 10. He has uh, the four horsemen on the left side. He also has the eight pin, the nine pin, and the ten pin. Now looking at one, four, seven. It's a nine. He's waiting before pressing the button to see whether that is rocking back and forth, but it's not going to go down. After four in the first and in the second, we check the scoreboard. Right now, it is Zernike 53, Richards 41. Today's challenger, Dave Richards. Everything down except the kingpin, the five. The wood is behind it. Well, it was behind it, and now one of them has moved out in front of it. Now it's a little bit to the right. He wants it to stay there, if it will, and I think it will. A, a corner of it, maybe, onto the... He's got it. He had a spare in the second, you'll recall, with just a two on it. This time he has nine. And the one, the one pin that's up is the ten pin. Oh, that was close. Oh, he got it. But he had a spin on it that was making it break to the left just a little bit. And uh, he had just enough to get it. But it's two in a row. Now here's John Zernike. John now looking at the three and the 10. 
Whatever wood was there has rolled off. Tricky shot. Played it well, played it right off the sidewall. John gets eight. He has the three and the six. Got it. Although for a moment it looked as if he might miss it. Dave has two marks in a row. Here's the fill on the second. Big nine. The one pin up is the seven pin. He's got it. Three marks in a row, $50 in bonus money. And the streak, of course, is alive now. He has established it, so each consecutive mark in the same string is worth $50, as long as he can keep it going. Nine. Yes. Another $50 in bonus money. Now our defending champion, John Zernike, hoping to duplicate that and get some bonus money right now. Well, it's going to be tough because he has back-to-back -back pins. Eight is the fill, but he's looking at a three and a nine. Piece of wood to the left. I think there's one sticking in between the two. So, well, let's see whether he's going to get it. Oh, is it going to come back? No. Ten. The, the one and the nine, and that's all. And now for the third ball, he has to face a diamond. Two, four, five, and eight. Mmm, seven box. Dave Richards has four in a row. Now rolling in the ninth box for string. Five is the fill, and it will not be easy. He has no wood to help. It will not be easy simply because of the fact that it's the eight pin rather than the seven. And he got the four horsemen on the right side, but that eight pin didn't go. It's a ten. Al Giglio, as usual, keeping score on the electronic scoreboard. Keith Williams on the big board for the folks who are here. Half Worcester on the left side, punching out the two and eight. Everything down except the seven pin. And Tim Michelle is unable to be here today. That's why uh, it is uh, Don Riley who's filling in for Ralph Stewart. But uh, 
Tim's brother, Phil, is uh, acting as our statistician today. Phil Rubin, of course, is our producer and director. And John Zernike right now looking at a 2 and 10. Nice shot. Nice shot. Spare in the ninth. He's at 116 with the box to go. And this is for a fill on the spare in the ninth. Ooh, tough split. He got six for the fill. He's got the three pin, which would be the object pin. Over on the left, he's got the four, seven. On the right, he's got the three and the ten. Nope, didn't hit the three. So now he'll go for four and seven. It is an eight. $50 in bonus money for Dave Richards, who is our challenger today, as he has won the first string by three, 133 to 130. As the middle string begins with our defending champion leading off, he comes right down the middle and gets a spread eagle. two of the pins on the right, leaving the 10 pin. Now we work on the two, four, and seven. Hmm, seven box. Looked like it was going to be four horses and the ten just dropped. So he's looking at one, three, six. Yes. Our crew today is Bob Marsosi, Margie McKenna. Jeff Sullivan, and Skip Peabody. Dave Richards, a lot of body English, but he couldn't get the right side to fall. And over on the left, the four and seven, nope piece of wood in front of it. A nine. Oh, I'm so close to a strike. Six pin didn't go. defending champion. He's looking at four horsemen right side and the eight pin. Not easy. Left the head pin. Just got the two and eight. Four 
five and eight now. It's an eight box. So far in the middle string for John, a seven, spare five, 10, and eight. Now Dave Richards is working on a spare he had also in the second box. Eight. Don Riley calls time. There's a loose piece of wood. Get the five and still can't figure it out. In all fairness to uh, to Don Riley, he has uh, a bad back. And to a strike. It is a strike. But the 10 pin finally tumbled. And again, after four boxes, as we have always done it, after the first and second, in the first and second string, after four, we have a, two bonus balls to be rolled by Dave Richards. And he is leading right now in pins down, 46 to 40. John Zernike, defending champion. Right on the head pin, but he left the 10. Everything else. Now that skinny pin right on the edge of the cliff on the right-hand side. Got it. Seven is the pill, and he has left the one, the two, and the seven. Too bad, he got just the two. Nine. All right, let's see what Dave Richards does. He has a strike. Two bonus balls coming up. Well, the first one got him five. He went right down the middle. It was almost a spread eagle. He did leave the three, six, ten on the right, but he did get the two in addition to the one, five, eight, and nine. So the total fill on the strike is eight. And he gets one more. It's a nine box. The two, the four, the seven, with wood between the four and the seven. Six pin over on the right. He got it. He got it. It was a little slow in going down, but eventually he got the six to go and then the seven. Now John Zernike, defending champion who's behind right now. He has the four horsemen on the right side. That's what he's looking at. The only wood is in back of the six. One, three, six, ten, and he fires. Didn't get the head pin. Ten.
they're still falling, and he winds up with the corners full, the seven and the ten. A couple of pieces of wood went in the pit, and now he has three pieces right across. He studied it well, planned what he's going to do. He fires for the right side, got the ten. Seven still there. Not now, it's a 10 box. Dave Richards, our challenger, coming up now, and he's working on a spare in the six. Six is the fill. The four pin standing are the two, the four, the six, and ten with out wood. Good try. He went to, to try to get the two and four, but he missed the two, took out the four. He was purposely over towards the left side because he wanted to kick that two pin over to get the two pins on the right. It winds up as a nine box. Nine pin drop, he has to get the 10 pin for a mark, and the wood right now, well, he's got three pieces, but I'm not sure, well, I'm gonna be quiet. Yes, he did get it. He had to hit it just right. Spare in the eighth. Now our defending champion who is bowling first in the middle string. Gets a strike in the ninth. Now on lane three here at the fairway, the first bonus ball goes. He gets eight, but he does have a spare lead. It's a three and six. miss it but fortunately he caught a piece of wood that did a bit of a backflip and got it five the fill 21. Dave Richards in the lead by 15 in those uh, that he has completed and still facing what John has already done here in the middle string. Got nine for a fill. The single pin is the four pin. Bear, yes. Boy, some body English on that one. Dave is married. He and his wife have no children. He is a traffic manager for MVB Sports. MVP. Most valuable player, I guess. All right. Four and seven on the left. Ten on the right. Two pieces of wood. He'll try to split them and get it. No, it didn't work, or is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Four went, but not the seven. Nope, turns out to be a nine. So there it is, uh, $50 for Dave Richards, as he has won the middle string 133-121, he leads in the match by 15, 266, 251.
Dave Richards, our challenger, leading off the third string and leading in the match by 15 pins. Two, four, seven, and ten. Got two and ten, four and seven still there. It's an eight. David had the, uh, if you want to call it distinction, of is it going to be a backdoor strike? No. Everything down except the two pin. He was the other bowler when Paul Berger rolled 500. Lucky John. Oh, too bad. Missed that two pin. Now he's got it for a 10. John Zernicke, who won last week, rolling, uh, you won by one pin, 403, 402. Al Johnson was the previous champion. One, three, seven, and eight. John has a rooting section for him today. His brother, Ed, who holds our single string record. His father and his daughter, Tara. Waiting for a little piece of wood to settle down. did get the head pin. Four horsemen left side. One, two, four, seven, and a piece of wood across the one and two. And he doesn't want to take just the one and two and leave the four and seven if he can help it. But that's what happened. Obviously, he was hoping he could bang it off the right side wall and come back and get the other two. So, in the first two boxes of the third, he has picked up one pin. Dave was leading by 15. Dave has the four horsemen left side, one, two, four, seven, and the ten. There's a piece of wood which is basically rolling and staying now between, a little bit of it is coming out from the back between the one and two. Nope, the corners are still full. Last summer, when Dave was on, he won his championship by defeating Jim Johnson and rolling a 412. But then the next week, Bob Donovan was his victim when he rolled a 407. He rolled a 392 in beating Keith DeGio and lost to Jack Ray. 378 to 361. Nice shot. Spare in the fourth. Now John Zernicke, down by 14. Opposite a nine and a spare. Strike! That's what he needed. Strike opposite the nine. That cuts it down to 13 pin deficit, and he'll cut it more by what he gets with two bonus balls. He was right on the head pin and got seven more. 
The three pins standing are the two, four, ten. Two far left. Got just the four. Nine. However, that is opposite a spare. So we'll wait to see what the fill is here, and then we'll know what the uh, discrepancy is. Dave comes back with a fill of six. Oh, surprise, he didn't get the spare. Had four pins set up, the two, four, uh, two, five, four, seven. There's the four pin, four ten. Now down to five boxes to go for Dave and six for John. That was a real slow motion strike. They just kept sliding across, one pin knocking down another. Twelve pins down is our defending champion right here, John Zernike. Gee, a piece of wood came right between the three and the five when it looked as if it was going to be a strike. Ooh, didn't get the spare. Needs them. Ten instead of a mark. Now he's opposite a strike. He left the corners full. Everything down except the 710. Two pieces of wood rolling over toward the 10. Two pieces of wood around the 7. One right across. The other one is to the right of it and perpendicular to the pit. Oh, pretty, 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 yes. Sidewall action and made it. A spare when he had to. As you regular viewers are aware, my precise description is for the many persons who have written in and said that they are either totally blind or legally blind and want to enjoy the program as much as the rest of us who can see. Dave Richards knocks down everything except the four pin with his first ball. Don Riley taking a look to see whether it is behind, whether they're behind the Deadwood line. He said they are. Two pieces of wood in front of that four. And yes. Oh, so close to getting a strike as his fill, but he has the five pin to pick up. And he's got it. $50 more in bonus money. John Zernike working on a spare. Ooh, thin, thin hit. Everything went except the eight, the nine pin. Unfortunately, that's uh, just for a ten. His challenger has gone strike, spare, spare. 
Too bad. He's got a split with no wood to help of the 2 4 6 10. That's the left side. And again, he's opposite a mark. It turns out to be an eight as he puts that last ball in the gutter on the right. Dave Richards working on a spare in the eighth. Leading by at least 29. Give him seven more. Three, six, and seven. Made it! $50 more in bonus money for another mark. Eight is the fill. Six and ten with a piece of wood right now that hasn't decided where it's well now it is it has decided where it's going to stop, which is on a not too favorable angle. But he got it. Finish for Dave Richards. A 145. And another 400. John Zernike leaves diamond right plus 10. Piece of wood rolling up. A chance for another. The three and the five. Oh no, he got just the three. So Dave Richards is a champion again. In this string, another $50 to Dave Richards as he is won at 145 to 116, and he wins the match 411 to 367. $350 to give away if someone is within 10 either side of today's total, which is 778. Now we've had some uh, 800, so there's a possibility we may be having a winner person whose card I choose is going to be a winner anyway because he or she will receive a $50 gift certificate to Christmas Tree Shop. Remember, 10 either side of 778 wins $350. Okay, let's dig down. Boy, it's tough to dig, I'll tell you. I'm trying to dig down so I don't take something right off the top. Why not? Because somebody will say, oh, I know. You knew that was there. Okay. This one comes from East Sandwich, Massachusetts. It's Pearl Martindale. Well, I guess you're going to have to be satisfied with the Christmas tree thing. It's a guess in the 700s, but not quite uh, enough. 753. Okay, David. Let me see. $250. Could you use that if you've yes, knocked that? <laughs> Oh, it was 
a little tingle. What are you doing scaring everybody? Uh, close. Maybe it was kind of one of those days then, was it? Uh, yeah. It's a lot get away. It, it's amazing, isn't it, how uh, you can have one week in which uh, they fall and then you, know, yeah, you hit that pocket it's, and it's that it's lovely tough. crunch sound almost in your mind. Yeah. When, this is your little permanent souvenir and you know that you're going to get that from Din Brothers. And would you believe that John Zernke got no bonus money? Oh, I know. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it, that's amazing. Yeah, All right. Yeah. But you did get $350, and uh, bless you. We'll see you again, I know. Again. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, David, there it is. It's going to be inscribed, as you know, with a day that will remind you that you picked up $500 in bonus money. That's great. That's plus $700 for winning. Mm -hmm. A $50 gift certificate from Rotman's Furniture. John Dillis for the whole crew. Bye-bye.